SGC here, and we're back with a final impression. Jessica Jones, season one. Holy smokes, Netflix, Marvel, you have done it again. And this time, I would say it's even more difficult compared to Daredevil. Daredevil is sort of your procedural law, sort of vigilante sort of thing. But here, I don't even know what to categorize Jessica Jones. It's like a drama-heavy but action, psychological, Kilgrave is a great, great villain. I'm going to go everywhere here. But yeah, Kilgrave, definitely a phenomenal villain. I mean, how they introduced him, how they played him out in the entire season, how the latter half is very Kilgrave heavy. You see more of his powers, how they really affect people and all that stuff is just great. The introduction to Luke Cage. He's there and then not there sort of thing, but he has a presence. So it's going to be great to see how Luke Cage, the series, pans out in terms of what they're going to talk about. And I do wonder if there is going to be a theme, in a sense, where Daredevil was very violent, very ruthless, violent, intense. And then Jessica Jones here is very sexualized. Could Luke Cage be very racial? Because, you know, he's black. They would play the race card there. And... Iron Fist, religion, because, you know, the martial arts, that sort of thing. It's going to be interesting for sure. So anyway, Jessica Jones, she was amazing. I, I seen her in other stuff, but it wasn't that amazing. But here she really, like, delivered, really owned her character and felt very real. Really great screenplay and just the supporting cast was strong. Though there were bits and pieces of where the whole Kilgrave support group was kind of iffy rufus sister was just really nagging and annoying really cut into just just a lot of screen time for everybody like i felt that her presence was established that she was very intense and just naggy and then i felt near episode nine or eight where she and the drug addict guy they had this really intense moment and it was like whoa don't need that sort of like breaks the whole pacing of the entire episode and she doesn't really bring anything else forward. And it's just really, that's unfortunate where it really tripped up near the end. But it ended well. And Jessica Jones' best friend was great. Like how just to see the differences between the superhuman and just someone that's really trying to be really strong. And then we have Sebastian. He's just really great introduction how he got in. But then... Near the latter half, again, it felt very abrupt. There was a lot of abruptness near the end. I felt like this probably could have filtered out a lot of edited stuff. Filtered or edit, or they could have made 15 episodes instead of 13 to just expand things so it doesn't feel super jarringly different. I mean, he is an Easter egg for some future sort of, like, role. I don't know if they're going to deliver, but they opened that door for now. But anyway, enjoyable. This season was enjoyable. It was it was just great to watch. Very real life or sort of like superhero type of thing. Because, I mean, the superpowers, they dealt with it really well. There was no crazy like set pieces, what have you. But when things went down, it was pretty brutal because they always talk about it. They build up and it was just that build that was just really great. So overall, I really enjoyed Jessica Jones. I enjoyed it more than daredevil i would say in the sense where it didn't feel procedural it felt more like like authentic it felt authentic that these things could have happened like you know scrap all the kill grave and all that that's what a pi would do and i felt that daredevil sort of lacked that because something was kind of off and yeah i'm not to really compare it all but yeah just like jones i appreciate it for what it brought to the table really can't wait to see what it's gonna happen in season two like how that's going to unfold in terms of the defenders or how it will relate to Luke Cage or Iron Fist or what have you. But I am excited and really, you know, expectant now. I feel that Jessica Jones, I didn't really care for it when it was being announced, nor the ads coming. I'm just like, I'm just going to wait till it comes out sort of thing. And it was great. So yeah, that is all. I enjoyed it. Go watch it if you haven't. And that is all for this final impression of Jessica Jones, season one. Out. Out.